now let us try to understand about the s3 life cycle okay so in s3 life cycle we have a multiple uh, storage classes okay one is the s3 standard second is the s3 intelligent tiring third is the s3 standard ia fourth is the s3 one ia fifth is the s3 glacier and sixth is the s3 glacier deep archive so these are the multiple storage classes which is available based on the usage of the s3 object okay so suppose you have one of the object okay and on which particular object you want a fast access okay the object should should have a fast fastly access and you will have a frequent access is there so in that case we generally use a s3 standard okay if you will go down whatever if you see like s3 glacier s3 glacier deep archive the time of getting access will decrease okay if you will see in s3 glacier to get the data it you need to wait for the 2 to 5 hours okay in a s3 glacier deep archive we will see to get the data you need to wait for the 12 hours even though you will get you will have to pay very less for this s3 glacier and s3 glacier deep archive but suppose you have any kind of the data only rarely you are accessing so you can go for the s3 glacier or s3 glacier deep archive but you really want to frequent access and you want to faster access so that then you will generally go for the s3 standard and s3 stand intelligent and tiring and all okay let me go to the my console s3 okay and let me try to create one of the bucket and let me try to show you okay so i'm going to create s3 storage classes or something this is the bucket i am creating and i will just go and i will just click on the create bucket as of now okay once you will click here this is the particular storage which is now open what actually i will do i'll click here i'll click on the add files and this is a particular file which i am trying to upload it and i will just go and i will just click on the upload okay now i will click close here now you can see this is a particular file which is now uploaded okay now if you will go to the properties and uh, the bucket versioning and all you can see okay and uh, if you will see here let me show you uh, let me go to the bucket let me click here you can see the storage class by default it is a in a standard okay by default you will get to see the standard but if, even if you want to convert that standard into a glacier or one zone ia that also you can do it so let us try to see how actually you can do that click on this okay once you will click here go down you can see we have a storage class right now you can see the storage class is by default standard click click on the edit now here you can see we have a different kind of storage classes which is available now let us try to see and let us try to understand by default it will be a standard so a standard we generally use for the frequent access data okay more than once a month with a millisecond access in that kind of the scenario we generally use for the standard the second is the intelligent tiring data with changing or unknown access pattern okay so you can see after a standard after 30 days you can generally convert into intelligent tiring and all okay and after that we have a standard ia infrequent access data once and once in a month if you want to access so in that kind of the scenario you can go for the standard ia so okay and after that you can see we have some of the glacier okay long live archive data access once a quarter okay quarterly if you are accessing in that kind of scenario you can access for this and uh, after that we have a glacier uh, deep archive long live archive data access less than once a year once in a year if you are accessing then you can go for the glacier deep archive and you can see the mi minimum storage duration also it is given like 30 days 90 days and all and you can see the retrieval fees is also given okay per gb fee supply and all so if you will out for the uh, glacier deep archive and all you have to pay very minimal okay as compared to the standard and all okay so based on our use case and based on the frequently access you we can convert into a different storage classes 
okay so that is a different storage classes which is available so and this is the life cycle which we have to remember by default it you it will give it will assign to the standard because uh, the frequently accessed data we generally go for the standard but uh, really if you want to access we we, we have to give based on our requirement the quarterly yearly if you want to access you can go for the glacier and all okay so that is all about the life cycle of the s3 okay